Hello, everybody, and I want to welcome everyone to this episode of The Booze Geek. My name is Chuck, and I am your host. And on this episode, well, this is episode three. We have reached the penultimate episode of our Founders Brewing Portfolio Tasting Extravaganza, the KBS, all this fun stuff. So, yeah, this is episode three. So, for a quick recap, what have we been doing? Well, the first episode, we tasted, reviewed, and rated the original KBS, the Kentucky Breakfast Stout. On the second episode, first offshoot, we tasted, reviewed, and rated the KBS, the Kentucky Breakfast Stout. However, this had the addition of cinnamon, vanilla, and cocoa. So on this episode, this third episode, we're going to be tasting and reviewing and rating, well, imagine that, the KBS, the Kentucky Breakfast Stout. However, this one has the addition of maple syrup and Mackinac Island coffee fudge. And for those of you who've had Mackinac Island fudge, I mean, it's the real deal. It's some of the best fudge in the world, if not the best fudge in the world. I mean, it is world-renowned fudge. It's amazing. Unbelievably amazing. So this beer just sounds really decadent, really luscious, and uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Um, the stats on this one, though, a little bit different than the first two, where the ABV the ABV on the first two on these clocked in at 12%. This one's a little bit lower. This one clocks in at 11% ABV, but the IBU is the same at 45. So without further ado, decadence and all, let's pop the top on this KBS, Kentucky Breakfast Stout, Mackinac Fudge, baby, and uh, let's have some fun. Keep the party train rolling. We got two down, two to go. Here we go. Boom, boom. Oh, doo -doo -doo -doo. oh and zero smoke once again on the... Uh, out of the bottle, and let's get a Kentucky-style pour here. Whatever that means, but I'm rolling with it. Uh, but I will say this, just from the pour alone, this one looks to be a little bit heavier, just a tad. It's a little bit heavier. Uh, Color-wise, well, that's the same. And carbonation-wise, eh, about the same as this one, about just a quarter, uh, quarter finger veil of khaki-color carbonation. So more than this one, but about the same as the, uh, the vanilla KBS. But uh, yeah, color's the same. And uh, let's give it a swirl, and let's give it a nose, and let's see what we got going on. I mean, this just sounds sweet and decadent and luscious, and I, uh, I'm just going to jump in. Here we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's all those things. Yes, it is. It's all those things and more. Well, the nose is actually a little bit similar to... Uh, this KBS, a little bit similar, but a little different. But what are we getting here, nose-wise? Aroma-wise, we are getting... Now this one, a big aroma of coffee is coming first and foremost. We are getting the coffee. We are getting some of that maple syrup sweetness coming through. A little bit of chocolate as well. I'm going to swirl this a little bit and open this one up. Open up here, KBS. Come on, open up, open up. A little bit of mocha, mm, and more. Slight, slight vanilla. Come on, one more little nose here. That should about do it. Yeah, and like I said, there is a, a caramel sweetness coming through on this one as well. Uh, but I'm gonna keep swirling, and uh, we're gonna give this one a sippy sip, and we're gonna see what we got. Here we go. Prost to the KBS again. KBS. Prost! Here we go. Sip number one. That is decadent and sweet. Wow. Now, I will say this. I'm going to take one more quick sip. Mm. This is really tasty as well. Um, now, first and foremost, heavier. I said it poured a little heavier. It looked like it poured... Heavier mouthfeel. This one's a definitely a this is definitely a medium bodied beer. So yeah, this is medium. These two are a little bit, you know, teetering, teetering light medium. This one's definitely medium bodied. But let's get going on those flavors. Mm. Well, like the nose, number one, coffee. Coffee's coming through a lot more prominent on this. Mm. But there is this one like uh, this version, this is a sweet drinking beer. We're getting some, um, it's just like that maple syrup sweetness is coming through. Some caramel sweetness is coming through. This is definitely sweeter than this one as well. A little bit of chocolate. 
And let's see here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now it's warmed up and opened up a little bit. A uh, little bit of mocha is also coming through. But yeah, one more quick sip. Then I'll give it my rating. One more, one more. Come on, we can do one more. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's... it's it's opening up more, but that, that sweetness that I said, that maple syrup and that caramel sweetness is definitely starting to take the cake. It's now actually starting to overpower the coffee. Um, however, but once again, same with this one at 11%, zero boozy alcohol aftertaste. Like I said, the first one had a little bit of alcohol at the very end. These two, none, it's not existent. So what would I give this one on the pint meter Now, once again, it's not as balanced as this one. And it's, uh, I don't even think it's quite balanced as well as uh, the second version as well, the van uh, vanilla cinnamon version. I think I'm going to give this uh, I'm going to give this one an eight, an eight. Whoosh. I'm going to give this an eight on the pint meter. Um, I think it's very good. I like actually I like the heavier mouthfeel on this beer. I think it, I, I like that weight of the beer. I actually wish these two were the same uh, mouthfeel as this one. I think it would make these two a little bit better. Um, however. This one is coming off, it's sweeter than this one, and it's it's coming off, and I said this one was pretty sweet. This is sweeter yet. Uh, and the problem, I, it's not a real problem, but the sweetness overtakes any coffee on the palate. You get that coffee in the beginning, but once it starts, the beer starts to open up a little bit, it gets really, really sweet really fast. And I just wish there was better balance between the coffee and the, uh, the sweetness. That's all. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to stick with that. And uh, I'm going to wrap this episode up, and I want to thank everyone for tuning in. And on the next episode, the last episode of this Portfolio Tasting, we are going to be doing another offshoot of the KBS. However, this one is the CBS, the Canadian Breakfast Stout. Eh? Eh? We're going to Canada, eh? But anyways, tune into this episode, and as always... You can follow us at the websites, which are www.pubsapplepainting.com, or the blog, which is www.pubsapplepainting.blogspot.com. And with that, we will see you on the next episode. So raise that pint. Cheers, prost, and enjoy.